Algebra 285, exponential and logarithmic equations. <clears throat> In this one, we're going to learn to solve exponential equations and logarithmic equations. Okay. An equation in the form of b to the cx power equals a, where the exponent includes a variable, is considered the exponential equation. If m and n are positive and m equals n, then the log of m equals the log of n. Therefore, you can solve an exponential equation by taking the logarithm of each side. Okay, so let's just walk through this one. So I've got 7 to the 3x power equals 20. I can rewrite this as the log of 7 to the 3x power is equal to the log of 20. Well, by the power property, I can rewrite this as 3x log of 7 is equal to the log of 20. And by the division, I can say x equals the log of 20 over 3 times the log of 7. Then we can plug that in our calculator and go x equals approximately 0 0.5132. So easily, just by the properties of logarithms, we can solve exponential equations. So here we go. Solve 3 to the x power equals 4, round to the nearest thousandths. So we can say log of 3 to the x power equals the log of 4. Okay. Now we can say x log of 3 equals log of 4. So we can say x equals the log of 4 over the log of 3. So we get our handy dandy calculator out and we can put log of 4 divided by log of 3. We get 1.2619, so the answer would be C. Okay, 1B, we can kind of speed this up now. So we can see this is going to be 2X to the log of 6 equals the log of 21. So now we can say X equals the log of 21 over 2 times the log of 6. So get our handy-dandy calculator out for that one. Okay, and let's just check it out. So we get the log of 21 divided by parentheses 2 times the log of 6. So we get 0.8496. So the answer would be B. All right. Solve 3 to the x plus 4 power equals 101. So looking at what we know, we can say this. x plus 4 times the log of 3 equals the log of 101. So we can say x plus 4 equals log 101 divided by log of 3. So x is going to equal the log of 101 divided by the log of 3 minus 4. So let's do that. So I got the log of 101 divided by the log of 3. Hit enter. And now we're going to subtract 4. So I got 0 0.2009. So the answer would be A. Okay, so next slide. To evaluate a logarithm with any base, you can use the change of base formula. We actually learned this earlier. For any positive numbers, m, b, and c, with b and c not equal to 1, the log base b of m is the same thing as the log, whatever base we want it to be, of m over log of the same base over b. Remember, we were doing that in our calculator, so it looks like this. Log base b of m is the same thing as the log of m over the log of b. And the bases can be whatever they need to be. So, using the change of base calculator. 
So it says, use the change of base to evaluate the log of 3, log base 3 of 15, and then convert it to a base of 2. So we need to convert it to a base of 2. So the first thing we're going to do is determine what the log of 3 of 15 is. So in our calculator, we, we plug in the log of 15 over log of 3, and we get 2.465. So now we're going to write that and say that is equal to log base 2 of x. Okay. And then what are we going to do? So log base 2 of x, we could say, and I'm going to show you a different point here. So once you set it up, it's 2.465. 0 is equal to the log base 2 of x. Let's just look at this for a second. What did we learn before? We could say 2 to the 2.465o power is equal to x. We don't have to do all these steps from this point on. Okay, we have a quicker way to do it. Because if you remember, if we said y equals log b of x, so we could say b to the y equals x. So we can use that shortcut right there. So what is 2 to the 2.465 power? So 2 raised to the 2.465 power is 5.521, which is what we got. Okay, let's do some examples of it and see if this makes sense. So evaluate log base 5 of 400 and convert it to a logarithm in a base of 8. So step 1, evaluate the log of 400 over the log of 5. What's that equal? Well, that's our calculator work. So we're going to say the log of 400 divided by the log of 5, and we get 3.7227. So that is 3.7227. Okay, so now we're going to say 3.7227 equals log base of 8 of x. So I can say 8 to the 3.7. 227 power equals x. So let's see what that is. So I can say 8 raised to my answer there equals 2301. So x equals 2301. So when I evaluated it, I got 3. 7227, so that worked, and x equals that. So consider the equation 2.468 is approximately the log of base 2 of x from the example, which one explains uh, without using the change of base formula. We know what 2 raised to the 2.468 power is going to get us x. So we're going to raise 2 to the 2.465 power. The answer is b. All right, moving on. So you can use the change of base formula to solve exponential equations. All right. So solve 2 to the 3x power equals 172. Okay. So we can say this. 3x log of 2 is equal to the log of of 172. I'm just going to use our log rules. So x is going to equal log of 172 over 3 times the log of 2. So when we do that, plug it in our calculator. So I can say the log of 172 divided by 3 times the log of 2, and I get 2.4754. So x equals 2.4754, just like the book shows. Okay, next example. 
Use the change of base formula to solve. Okay. So, we could do this a few different ways. We could rewrite this as 5x log of 7 is equal to the log of 3,000. So, x is going to equal the log of 3,000 divided by 5 times the log of 7. So let's plug that in our calculator and see what we get. So we get the log of 3,000 divided by 5 times the log of 7. So I got 0.8229. The answer is B. X equals 0 0.8229. Okay, next one. Solve the equation by graphing. Okay, we're not going to use a graphing calculator to do this, so we won't do it this way. So we can skip that. Real world connections, again, we're not going to solve via graphing calculators. We'll actually just plug in values and solve. Okay, objective two. Solving logarithmic equations. The equation that includes a logarithmic expression is called a logarithmic equation. Okay. So solve the log of 3x plus 1 equals 5. Well, step 1, we can rewrite it in exponential form. So we could say, remember our base is 10, so we could rewrite it as 3x plus 1 equals 10 to the 5th power. So 3x plus 1 would equal 10, or 100,000, I should say. So 3x is equal to 999, or 99,999. So x is equal to 33,333. Okay, easy enough. So solve log of 7 minus 2x is equal to negative 1. So we can say 7 minus 2x is equal to 10 to the negative 1 power. So 7 minus 2x is equal to um, 0.1. So subtract 7 to each side. So I'm going to get negative 2x is equal to minus 7. So minus 6.9. So x is going to be whatever 6.9 divided by 2 is. So 6.9 divided by 2 is 3.45. So x is positive 3.45. So the answer is b. All right. In some cases, you must use the property of logs to simplify the expressions before solving. So this one is say, it says 2 log of x minus log of 3 equals 2. Well, we can put everything together. So we could rewrite this as a single logarithm as log of x squared over 3 is equal to 2. So we can say x squared over 3 is equal to 10 squared. So x squared is basically equal to 300. So x is going to be the plus or minus the square root of 300. Okay. Since logarithms of a negative number is undefined, the only solution is the positive one. Okay, so let's look at this next, next one. Solve log base or log of 6 minus log of 3x is equal to t negative 2. So I could rewrite this as saying the log of 6 over 3x is equal to negative 2. Well, it's a base 10. So I could say 6 over 3x is equal to 10 to the negative 2. So 6 over 3x is equal to 1 over 100. So I can cross multiply, okay? So I can get 3x is equal to 600, divide each side by 3, x is equal to 200. Okay, so let's just double check real quick. So due to time, I went ahead and wrote it in in the calculator. Log of 6 minus the log of 600 is equal to negative 2. So the answer B does work. Okay, that concludes 8.5 for us.